Rise and Shine family. Let's talk about Popeye's chicken. First, before I get into it, I apologize if I look tired. I just spent the night in the hospital. Uh, stomach was acting up in pain uh, for the last three days, really started on my birthday. Uh, and uh, I finally went, but they said it was just uh, bacteria infection. Uh, but it felt like that time that I had those that blockage. So they said it wasn't that and I'm happy. So I'm hopeful that they're, they're telling me uh, that they're accurate. So but uh, it should clear up in like two or three days, they said. But nevertheless, let's get back to it. Popeye's chicken. Huh. We all know about it. We all seen it. We've all saw it. It's everywhere, right? You can't not see it. Um, it's the new thing. It's trending, right? As they say. Well, I want to talk about that because uh, surrounding that, I saw some things that really disappointed me. Really. What disappointed you, Kevin? I'm glad you asked. You know, I saw people on Facebook, Instagram, everywhere that I could that I'm that I'm actually um, participating in in terms of social media, um, bragging or talking about this sandwich, creating memes, creating all type of awareness around this sandwich. Uh, songs. Uh, one woman spray painted her whole freaking naked body with Popeye's logos. Um, I know people want to go viral. I know they want to do stuff to go viral, but you're promoting this company. And if you could think for one moment, if you, if we did that for each other, man, what would it be? Now, before I really get started, you know, um, I don't identify with my epidermis in terms of if a, if I see a person who identifies as black, do something, I don't feel like it makes me look bad. I feel like I'm an individual. I know people think that way, but I just don't, I'm not going to uh, carry the burden of feeling embarrassed by shit you do. That's just not me. I'm not going to do that. So, uh, you know, period. But anyway, I want to talk about it because I feel that it shows us a lot of us in terms of just how we do. We were able to raise $25 million, over, 20, over $26 million, just in ad sales alone by promoting this company. We don't do that for each other. Now, we always complain about how we don't have enough black businesses. Black businesses struggle. It is an inconvenience to try and buy black on a consistent basis because you can't find these companies many places. If I were to go out right now and try to find a black sandwich or a, you know, a fast food restaurant, uh, or just try to go buy buy from a fast food restaurant, I can guarantee you n none of these people out here are going to be black owned, you know? Um, and this is what I'm talking about. Grocery stores, gas stations, all of this stuff, right? You, it's just very rare that you found something like that that's black owned. And um, my point is we recognize this and we say you want to change that. We say you want to change the economic platform, the social platform uh, that, that people who identify as black is currently on, right? We say we want to. But we say we want to taste freedom, <laughs> but we'd rather taste the chicken sandwich. Let's be honest, family. We lit pie pies up. And regardless of how inconvenient it is to buy black, we sat in line at pie pies for several hours waiting to get our chicken sandwich. And then we're angry when they ran out. We were fighting. Just making a scene. What if we applied the same efforts towards each other what would happen just think about that we say we want to create change but do we really because I'm telling you right now the ball is in your court nobody's going to create a better future for you do you understand that you have to get involved if you want something out of life man you can't listen to people talking because people are going to tell you you're not good enough. People are going to tell you you're not capable. All that matters is what you do. I don't understand why, this, why we can't grasp this. If we come together, who's going to stop it, family? It's nothing between us but air and opportunity. We grown. We are grown. Is, is that what it takes a fad something catchy for us to come together or can we just consciously do this logically because we know it's needed we have children we, we still having children and don't we want to create a better future for them 
I'm not criticizing you if you bought the sandwich. You can do what you want. I, I'm, I support being. I'm a B evolution, right? The acronym is BE. I use this all the time, just B. If you wanna buy a sandwich, you buy a sandwich. But what I'm saying to you is this. This showed me that we can come together. This showed me that. Now, I didn't try the sandwich. And I'm not saying that people who didn't try a sandwich have room to talk you know, junk to the people who did. I think it's neither here nor there. I didn't try the sandwich. I'm not interested in the sandwich at all. But, you know, um, I'm not criticizing the people who did eat the sandwich. I'm just saying you can get what you want. Like, you know, period. If they came out with some vegan sandwich, I'm sure I'd want to go try it. Right? A slutty vegan, I love it. Right? It's delicious. It's like, wow. So I can understand going and buying something because, you know, you heard it was good. I'm not judging you. But I will say this. I saw a meme where it said that these chicken sandwiches could be the 2019 version of the Tuskegee experiments. Now, whew, that's deep because the way we ate those chicken sandwiches up, if they had, if they had have had a plan to wipe us out using food, that would have been a way to knock out a large amount of us right there. And I still feel like we perpetuated or helped to perpetuate a stereotype that was created a long time ago, even though I, I don't identify with my epidermis. I couldn't care less if if you like chicken or not. But we know that there is a, you know, a a racial epithet that says that black people like chicken. And look at what we did. It seems that we do love chicken. I thought everybody liked chicken, but goodness gracious, black Twitter. That's just one social site, 25 over 26 million dollars in ad sales i feel like we can be better and so we can cut we need to be better so we can so we can stop these patterns we keep we continue to do this stuff we've done this over several times with different products when they came out we we we, we stand in line for jordans we stand in line for all these things because we need to have them uh because we want to be with the in crowd most people want to be most people right But if you feel like your race or your the people who look like you, right, are at the bottom of the social scale, then you must think that most people are above you. So then why don't you try to be like most cultures, most other people and work together? You may say, well, what is giving five dollars to any organization or any person going to do for me personally? Well, hey, what? what why, why would you say that? Because you didn't get a chicken sandwich out of it. If you say you want something, family. And you say you want to build towards something. When you give towards it, that is the reward, family. You're giving towards something that you want to see. And planting a tree don't always mean you're going to eat the fruit that falls from it. Maybe your kids will. You understand? All these other people are able to pass down things to their families. You know? But all we pass down is recipes. They got grandmama food. I don't think y'all caught that. I said all we do is all we do is pass on and rest in peace because they got grandmama food. Ever since slavery, they were giving us the bad food, and yes, she perfected it. She made ribs taste like a delicacy, but that didn't make it good for you. Do you understand? And this is how I know that we were wigging when we gave our spinach to Popeyes for chicken. And y'all say, well, at least we ain't skinny, right? So get this, we olive oil. Nah, I said, no, get this, we'll outlive all y'all if you don't exercise some type of diet over your life. You understand? And if we olive oil, y'all blue, though. I mean, when y'all went to Popeye's to give them your spinach for chicken, y'all blue, though. 25 million in ad sales off black Twitter made their pockets fat. And when you look in the mirror, you wonder how you got that figure. <sighs> Go figure. Ironically, the money we blew on that bird could have put us in a better place. And honestly, I don't even feel like rhyming no more. It's a disgrace to me. I promise you. I feel like we can be better. We need to do better. You understand? It's so crazy how we so quick to, to, to jump on a fad, but we can't do these same things for each other. 
and I don't want to sound as if I'm criticizing you guys or anything, but I want us to look at this picture and say, wow, man, this is a clear example. A another opportunity that, we that we've had to come together and show ourselves and the world that we can do this and, and have something to brag about, to have something to be proud of. And yet it all went to a chicken sandwich. Do you imagine, can you just imagine what, if all of us came together and just gave a little bit? Just think about some of the work that I do, the missions that I have, that I wanna do. I mean, I've asked people for a dollar and people say, what are you gonna do with it? You ask me what I'm gonna do with a dollar? Man, I'm asking you to trust me first off because I can't do anything with it until you give me the dollar. You're not asking for a lot from one person. You're saying if everybody just give a small amount, if we say we wanna see change and we truly want to see change, then a dollar is nothing. We burn a dollar up on a McChicken, a McDouble. We burn a dollar, we throw dollars away. We go to the bar and buy, buy dollars. I think it's because we get something out of it and it, that all goes to instant gratification. A shot, a taste of a chicken sandwich, and you don't feel like you gave your, gave your money to a bad cause. But if someone says, well, you just donate to this cause or support my black business, it's all these complaints, complaints and, and fears that's that set in, in place. You don't think that's programming? If we say we gods, then why don't we reflect love towards each other? Why don't we? I'm not mad at Popeyes for, for um, you know, making their money or whatever, but I'm not mad at you guys for buying a sandwich. I'm saying I am totally enlightened by our actions and what we did. And I'm asking us guys, can we be better? Because we're not gonna get anywhere if we keep going this way. We'll do nothing but just keep making anybody richer who comes up with a catchy fad. It's time to be better. The same effort that we put towards helping these people promote, we can do the same things for black businesses. But we don't share black businesses stuff and create catchy memes to boost the, the awareness that, of what they're doing. We do this for a chicken sandwich. Imagine we did this for each other, what we could do. You clearly see who's in control now. Let's see what we do with it from here on out. This is not to make anyone feel bad for participating in going and doing that or whatever, but I'm telling you, family, if we were to apply the same effort towards each other in our own futures as we do this type, these type of fads and these things that's trending, we would be in a better place. It's time for us to stop being robots. We just do and say as they tell us to do and say. And we need to exercise uh, some type of diet and control of what we put in our bodies. Because for years, get, for years, family, uh, diabetes, uh, blood pressure, sugar, cancer, these things have completely ran through us. And most of these things are caused through what we put in our bodies. And if we were just to take time to fix that and control what we put in our bodies, we'd be healthier people. But when you have this conversation with some people, they say, well, I could walk and pass the street and get hit by a car, as if that's logical, as if, what? I'm telling you a way to, to live your life healthier so you don't get into your old age or even middle age being beaten down and depleted. And you're telling me that you can die from many things? What are you talking about? Then you might as well tell your children to do drugs. If that's your logic, you can die from anything. Then why are you telling your children to not do drugs and not do these things and don't do this and don't do that because you can see your life cut short? Your logic is crazy. I don't know, man. I love you all. I'm not going to say anymore. I think I'm done. Um, there's a lot more to say, but I don't want to give it all at one time. It's, I don't want to feel like I'm beating you down, but we do need to think about what we're doing. You understand? Listen, be evolution. Be the change that you want to see. And no candle loses its flame from lighting another. And if you were to ever find yourself in the middle of chaos, 
It is in that chaos that you would have found yourself. Peace, family.